you. Come here. Let me eat you. Damn it. What the hell? <laughs> Poopies. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with Mad Maxine the Malkavian. In the last part, we did the Ocean House Hotel, a ghost haunts at midnight, and it was so much better with the plus patch. It's my favorite quest of the whole game, and I had so much fun with it. Um, but in this part, we're going to take care of what Jeanette gave us, a new quest, slashed her piece, where she wants us to go to the Gallery Noir, and steal the charity box, and slash up the paintings, and I already know from playing as Fugly that uh, a demon's gonna pop out when I slash them all up, so that'll be fun. But first, I want to talk to this hey. blood doll right here here because I want to send her to the blood bank like I promised the blood bank dude whose name I can't remember um, because I am doing a low humanity playthrough and I want to try to get my humanity super low that's just what I want to do the blood bank holds a different delusion for you my lovely really? well that's just a little too creepy for me perhaps I misjudged your worldly manner hmm. I guess I'm going to the blood bank then good I had enough of this place anyway good and we'll check up with oh get out of my way awesome backpack but get out of my way and we'll check up at the blood bank after we are all done with all of this stuff because this is the good stuff this is the stuff where we're finally going to get Jeanette and Therese to sort of like split in the sense of they're gonna sort of have like a mental breakdown and um yeah we're definitely hoping for Jeanette we're hoping that that all works out and I just have to remember where gallery gallery noir is I think it's on the other side of town and again as I mentioned before I do know a significant amount of things that happen in this game you know there is some surprises with the plus patch that come along which is great um, but if you do want to see a more blind playthrough where I do go a little bit more in depth because I'm curious and I don't know what's going on um, I totally suggest that you check out my fugly LP which I'll link to right here Okay, so, I think we can talk to this cop as well. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. You know, with Fugly, we didn't have to talk to him, I don't think, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do it with the cop if I can. Come on, let's have some fun. Why don't you put me in those handcuffs? <laughs> well, Nissy. That's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position, huh? The risk, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Yes, yes, yes. These words make me feel alive. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's a uniform, you know. Women just can't get over the uniform. The chocolate stains are like medals of honor. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613. I'll be your donut shop. Whisper your order in my ear. <laughs> I don't want to kill him, though. So just don't kill him. Promise? Don't do it. Alright, that's enough. She took half. Good. And I'll take the key that you conveniently dropped, and I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. Apparently his name is Chunk. I just saw it in the left-hand corner. <laughs> oh, man. Die. You die. Okay, let's take the charity box. That's for us. Loose humanity for that, I'm sure. Um, and she gave me a knife. Did she not? She did. Use the knife. Gain 250 bucks. Where's my humanity loss? There we go. Okay, so. Cain meets Lilith. I have to remember what order they go in. Cain cursed by God. Cain spurns Lilith. Cain slays Abel. Okay, so Cain slays Abel is first. Then Cain... Spurred, cursed by God. And then Cain meets Lilith. And then he is spurned by L Lilith. No, Cain spurs Lilith. Yes. <laughs> I can read. Don't even worry about it. Mm. Alright, hang on. I want to get out my... My... Shin Gunto. I think it's better than the knife. Tis. Ooh. Well, me is some me veil of madness to you. I can't. Oh, <laughs> uh, he go get me. He's gonna get me. He's so ready to get me. And, oh damn, he got me. Damn it. Come on, Maxine. No, come on, Maxine. Don't get. Stop getting stuck everywhere. Oh, he's gonna kill you, Maxine. Oh, you did it. Good job. God, you're terrible. 
As bad as me! Uh, let's go in here. I think this is the back way you can get in if you're in Osferatu. Or if you didn't want to deal with Chunk at all. <laughs> uh, ooh. What? 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 Did I scare somebody? Sorry. You can apparently move these pipes, but she just won't grab them, so... Oh, what does it say? I'm not strong enough to move the pipes? That sucks. Okay, so I did all that. Let's check in at the blood bank and see if our little friend is now a tasty little blood bag for us to just, you know, offer on the go. Hi. Sweet girl you sent up. Made the other one seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. Uh. Least she used to be. But she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? Give me the red sweetness. <laughs> Okay, so he's got blood bag. I don't have any, so I guess I'll buy one. Okay, so let's go check up with Jeanette. I think. I don't know, I think we go check up on her. Let me just uh, grab some blood from you real quick. Did you miss me? I missed you so much. What page was I on? Oh yeah, you. So this is Paige. Oh god, she doesn't have that much blood. Oh, she does. Uh, so this is Paige, the one who's been sleeping with the doctor. Which is interesting. I wonder if you can like actually, you know, go tell her if you don't take the, don't blackmail them, don't take the bribe or whatever. Be interesting. I should have, uh, I never knew that though because Fugly couldn't feed on the blood bells. They would just scream and run away. You. <laughs> what were you thinking? I... How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? Jiggy. She threw it into the Pacific. <laughs> Do you know what this means? It means that I can't get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me. And to make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. Bingo chips and fuzzy dice. Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The ocean house is worthless. So our business is forfeit. The feud is on. Let us talk as equals, Dark One. Let business be our sweet nothings. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. <laughs> she took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Uh -huh. This is more convoluted than my psyche. I will find her, and then we finish this. I You're want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Done and done. You are your sister. Okay, and if I remember, these dudes are all going to start attacking me. Once this phone rings, and she's like, Ah, oh, Jeanette has me! Oh no, okay, they're gonna start before that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Damn it, I'm gonna die! Come here! One of you, come here, let me eat you! Damn it! What the hell? <laughs> Poopies! Alright, is this a kill zone or not? Doesn't seem to be. So I can't just start killing right away. But now, like, ugh, it's so dumb. There we go. And for some reason, ah, you killed your friend. Come here. Come here. I should have just. What happened? I don't know what happened. What is happening? What is this? Uh, oh, is it because my humanity's low, or what? What was that? My blood wasn't low. I don't think. What was that? My humanity's at a six. It's not even halfway. What happened? I mean, I'm not complaining, but what happened? <laughs> oh, I'd eat him too if it was in a masquerade place. Hello? Yes? I'm so relieved you're safe. I wanted to warn you when I heard it was a setup, but Therese pulled a gun on me and I locked myself in the bathroom and she's threatening to kill me, and, and you have to help me! I shall be your white knight, ivory goddess. First tell me your tale. Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up, and... Did you hear that? Of course she do, because you're her! She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. I will deal with the dark daughter, ivory goddess. Hurry! I don't know how much longer I have! 
Here I come to save the day. Here I come to save the day. It's Dudley do right. Okay, so let's see the craziness unfold. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. You stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Mm -hmm. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear! Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Ivory Princess? Oh, I just knew you'd come to save me. I promise you, if you help me out of this, I'll make sure you find Bertram. I swear. With Therese out of the way, I can do a lot more than just that for you. What is this? The daughters of Giannis are of one skin. Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the knight of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. <laughs> You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Please continue, Ivory Goddess. Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... T shut up. Just shut up! Go on, Ivory Princess. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night. Pious as a nun. Stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. She owes you nothing, Dark Daughter. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. <laughs> then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Yes, the Dark One called down the Reaper on me. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What of Janos, white mistress? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. <laughs> Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. A dark deed for the dark daughter. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Grab the boomstick, ivory princess. <laughs> <laughs> I killed her. Yay, I didn't I did want it. her to go. <laughs> I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. You wanted You're to find Bertram. Now. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? Your words are clear, White Mistress. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. 
I mean, I may need someone like you sometime. And I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. I will come to worship at your alabaster altar. El Capo, El Capo, Pixie Queen, where all is green. Indeed, Pixie Queen, where all is green. Okay, so that is all the time I have to record today, unfortunately, but we did it. We got Jeanette to survive this little encounter between her and her quote-unquote sister. And yeah, I'm super excited. I know when you come back, she'll be feeling a little bit more like herself, dressed a little bit more normally, and she'll want to, you know, go over to this lovely heart-shaped bed and do a little canoodling in it. So I can't wait for that. It'll be super fun. So I want to thank you so very much for watching. It means the absolute world to me, and I'll see you for the next part of Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines with Mad Maxine. Bye-bye! Bye!